Hello there, everybody. This is General Snivy, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Today, <coughs> excuse me, had a loogie trapped in my throat. <laughs> now, that's not exactly what we're doing today. What we're actually going to be doing today is relatively simple. We're going back to all the previous worlds that we visited, and we're going on a massive treasure hunt. And by treasure, I mean we're going on a hunt for Dalmatians. So, we're going to be going back to all the previous worlds and collect whatever treasure chests we can find and hunt down the remaining Dalmatians that we can possibly get our hands on before returning to Hollow Bastion. While we're doing this, I'm also showing off as many level ups as I can whenever I achieve a level up for a character, whether it be Sora, Donald or Goofy, if they level up, I'll show what went up and take it from there, essentially. So yes, that is basically what's going to be going down in, this, in these uh, next few videos, too. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet is that we're going to try to find as many trinities as possible. Because many of these trinities are needed in order to reach certain treasure chests, and these chests usually contain a good item or Dalmatians. Now that we have the white trinity, that means we have all the trinities in the game, and we can easily hunt down the rem remaining Dalmatians, along with using the rest of our newly acquired abilities, such as Glide and High Jump. One more thing I will mention too is there are some things that I haven't been able to show off yet and there's still one thing in another world that I have not been able to show off and that's back in Deep Jungle. Fire! Since I got all the Dalmatians within Deep Jungle, I haven't uh, went back there to try to hunt down the remaining treasure chests if there are any and I also haven't uh, I also haven't shown off the new minigame that's available there. That will be done with another set of extra videos, which will occur towards the end game. Fire! So, yeah, that's something nice to look forward to. Very, very nice indeed. <sighs> One other thing I haven't mentioned yet is that I have found a guide for how to react to the White Mushroom's reactions. However, when I recorded this first session of locating the Dalmatians and everything, I didn't find this guide as of yet, so I was kind of going by blind intuition and instinct. So, yeah, they were pretty dang hard to figure out, and they still are. But since I looked up the guide, at least now I know I'm better prepared for when I do encounter the white mushrooms again. I can easily pull up this guide. Figure out, hey, this is what the spell need. This is what spell I need to cast. This is when I need to cast it. And this is how that works. One other thing I've forgotten to mention too is that after the first recording session was finished, I essentially finished 75% of all Dalmatian locations, but I had to make a second recording session because it was getting late, and I think it was about dinner time by the time I finished my first session, and I was about 75% done anyway. So that was good news. The only Dalmatians I had left were the world I was working on, which will be shown in good time. I forgot to mention this too, but there's going to be three videos covering these. Three videos covering the Dalmatian locations. And another thing I haven't mentioned yet is that I'm going to be showing off any and all new areas that I've been able to access. Of course, with the exception of Deep Jungle, but hey, I'm just saying. New areas, more stuff to look for. And maybe some new Heartless along the way, too. There are a couple of new Heartless who I fought. And 
just about all of them killed me. <laughs> Except for one. One I actually managed to defeat. This, as for the rest of them, eh, not so much. But I did put up a good fight. Now, the next thing I will go ahead and talk about as my chair squeaks and my back cracks, the Golden Girls theme song. <laughs> I know at this point, when I'm recording this video, which is on March 16th, my spring update video should be releasing sometime soon. Hopefully by the end of March. However, I can't really say for sure as of yet. Because I'm trying to get so much done within spring break, it's already Wednesday and I haven't act exactly made much progress. <laughs> I've taken care of most of the important things I have to do for college as far as homework is concerned. There is still one little thing I have to do with homework and that is to read a few pages from my Human Relationships book. And other than that, that's done. The other thing I would like to do this week during spring break is I want to write the remaining speeches I have left to write for my oral communications class. If you don't know what that is, that's public speaking. Technically speaking, as a... Oh, my phone goes off. Probably a new video being released on YouTube and... No, it's a... It's a comment. A comment received on YouTube. Whatever. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I have to write two more speeches for the remainder of the semester for college. And these next two speeches, I feel like, are going to be pretty easy. At least one of them is. The other one may be a bit on the intermediate level because I have to do some research on a certain person. And... Who is this person? Let me go through my paper. Papers I find out. Uh, here we go. It's uh, Ruth Benedict. That's the person who I need to write my uh, next speech on. This speech is the informative speech as a water bottle falls to the floor. Dang it. Distractions. Gotta love them. Am I right? So, Ruth Benedict, according to the list I received for class, she is under the What Handicap category. The reason why I found this interesting is that uh, this handicap could relate to uh, mental disabilities or maybe physical disabilities, which could be classified under a handicap. Then again, maybe it's golf, maybe it's a golf term, but I don't know. I haven't started my research yet, but I'm going to eventually. Hopefully by the end of the week. However, there are some other things I would like to get done first before I even get started on my next speech. And besides, I have like two weeks to write this speech anyway. And one more thing I haven't mentioned yet is that this other speech I have to write is five to six minutes. At least that's the informative speech. The next one, more or less the last speech I have to write for the semester is the demonstrative speech. And I feel like that one is going to be really easy because I already have an idea of what I'm going to do. And I'm going to teach people how to be more organized when it comes to file management. I'm going to show people how I organize my files on a computer, and that'll be that. Of course, I still have to write this speech, and I have to memorize it, which will be all kinds of fun if you ask me. <laughs> and this last speech I have to write has to last 8 to 10 minutes, which I feel like that can be easily done, because... The type of files I have to work with are going to be documents, mp4s, mp3s, those kinds of files. Also, I'm going to have a couple of pictures in there, too. Why pictures? Because organization skills. 
I'm going to teach people how to be organized. <sighs> so that's my uh, plan. <laughs> Speaking of college, my spring semester is soon going to be coming to an end. Hooray! Finally, it's almost over. I'm practically in the home stretch. I'm at the end of the quote-unquote hardest month of any semester. Well, more or less, for the spring semester. If, if you don't know, the month of March is the hardest, hardest month out of the spring semester. And as for the fall semester, hmm, I feel like that's October. Then again, yeah, it is. It's October. October is for the fall semester. March is for the spring. As for summer, well, you don't really need to worry about summer unless you're taking summer classes. Which, there aren't very many. Speaking of summer classes, I think I'm going to end up be taking one online over the summer. However, because of the way things turned out this semester... The online class I'm planning to take may not actually happen. I'll have to speak to my advisor on how that's going to work. Plus, I'm not sure if my financial aid is even going to cover this. <laughs> oh, the stress of college life. Isn't it fun? And I know you're probably thinking I should just go out and get a loan. Well, that's the thing. My mother does not want me to go out there and get a loan. Because a loan is something you have to pay back. Financial aid from scholarships and grants, you don't have to pay back. And those kinds of uh, things I'm talking about are the FAFSA and others. Who I can't remember off the top of my head, dang it. Whatever, there are grant money out there, and there's plenty of them. So don't get discouraged if you can't find any sort of financial aid. <coughs> oh, well, I almost threw up, threw up in my mouth a little. That was nasty. I guess I'll get back to what I was saying before about the spring update video it should be released by this point but like I said I'm not 100% sure on that yet I'm recording this video well in advance I'm not 100% sure when this video is going to be released if I had to guess it will be roughly towards the end of April but that's just a guess because of the way I'm measuring my upload schedule and the past couple of recording sessions. Let's see. Hmm. I think the last one was about six or seven videos. And then uh, another recording session I did like one day after. That was like five videos right there. So that's 12 videos plus these three is going to be 15. <laughs> so 15 more, I think. How many videos do I have at this point? I think, uh... See, this is part 42, and at this point in time when I'm recording this, it's up to part 36. It's five. It's actually eight. Eight videos. Isn't that something? I'm eight videos ahead, essentially. So that is freaking awesome. That should cover the month of April. And may even dive into the month of May. Which will be freaking nice. Because then I can uh, concentrate purely on school. Finish that up and try my best to get the best grades I possibly can. And just eliminate the stress from school. Well, more or less YouTube... And I can concentrate on school. I think I've just repeated myself. If that's the case, then dang it. <sighs> Post-commentary. Not my forte. But hey, whatever. Whatever. Hmm, what did I do in this video? I know I did a... 
take out... <sighs> oh yeah, there was one other thing I haven't mentioned yet, is that uh, I didn't find any uh, treasure chests while I was exploring all of Traverse Town, except for one. And that one I could not access for the life of me, and I couldn't even figure it out. However, after looking up the list for the 101 Dalmatian locations, that was when I found it. And it was that chest that uh, was plaguing me practically forever. And I finally figured out how to access this chest. However, this chest that I'm talking about is not going to be accessed until video number three. And it's going to be the very last chest of which I'll find. Reason? Because priorities, I guess? Also, I was uh, several worlds in already. I was uh, almost finished with, like, uh, the second to last world before... It was, a. Uh... Oh, screw it. I'll just say it. I was in Halloween Town. I was finishing up there, and then I had Neverland to knock out. After that, I had to go all the way back to Traverse Town to get the last chest. Which was incredibly simple and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? But, whatever. That was then, this is now. Now it's time to find more stuff. And here's another new staff for Donald. Rod that sometimes inflicts massive damage, but reduces max MP by 1. Had to think about it for a brief moment, but really it's not that bad of a com compromise. You, sure, you lose 1 of your maximum MP, but you gain a good amount of strength in return. Sure, Donald is not meant to whack enemies to death, but hey, it still works, and his magic power remains the same too. So, more or less, Donald now becomes a much more balanced character, as opposed to being a pure mage. But hey, that's just me. But hey. Dang it, I just repeated myself. Well, we're here in the uh, Olympus Coliseum, and this is... This place only has one chest that contains Dalmatians. So that's nice. At least we don't have to worry about finding uh, four different chests, four or five different chests of uh, Dalmatians in the Olympus Coliseum. It's only one and you can access it very early on in the game. I didn't even notice it until now, which is kind of sad, but hey, whatever. That's just the way things go. Oh geez, I'm out of time already. Well, I'm signing out now. This is Jarrell Snivy with Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time, more Dalmatian hunting. Bye-bye.